the scarlet thread. The smell of antiseptic hits my nose every morning when I enter the hospital door, welcomed by the signs of countless patients sitting as they wait for checkups, reports, and diagnosis, hoping, praying, and wishing for better reports while sharing their journey of battles lost and won, about nights of incessant tears and hopelessness, with my great emotions across their faces, and I was reminded of the one scarlet thread. The day was young, yet I was swept with deep thoughts. An old lady who came and sat beside me. She looked frail and daunt, nevertheless cheerful. She had gone under radiation and chemotherapy. Still, I could see the glimmer in her eyes as she spoke affectionately and told me to be grateful, for it is a blessing to be able to swallow water without pain down my throat and have hair on my head to cover it as she left with a content, a content and sincere smile, and I was reminded of the one scarlet thread. The place was packed as noon arrived, files after files of different results and promises. In the small gap in the unenclosed door, I peeped. A mother cradling a baby in her hand as she was bleeding in pain, with resilience like no other I have seen. A single tear left my eyes as I stood and offered to carry it for her. She looked up and smiled as she hesitantly handed me her baby. God has his angels everywhere, she exclaimed. With a grateful countenance, she left for her checkups, and I was reminded of the one scarlet red. The sounds of sobs woke me up from my reverie. It was the wife of a patient with a report of metastasis, the sole breadwinner of a family with little children with one hand on his forehead. He closed his eyes as he hugged his beloved, and there I was feeling as though I was inside a movie, wishing I was the writer who could turn it around. The chilly breeze said otherwise, acting though as a reality checker. The man was once an alcoholic and society would deem him an outcast. With a painful look, he could still say, God has given me another chance, and I was reminded of the one scarlet thread. The one scarlet thread provided by God to save anyone who believes and swing it into eternity left me in awe with his unchanging disposition. And when I look up, I saw an elder brother and a friend reminding me every moment of his abounding grace. He brought me to my knees and I said a prayer. With streams of faces I have seen and witnessed, ashamed to sing I love you, as I saw the deficiency of my efforts and shouted, oh, how he loves me. Thank you.